I should look around. on the Templar Order. It's a shadow of what it was. Where once we both protected all people from the dangers of magic, we now posture and grab at power. One day, I hope the circles are again sanctuaries where mages can practice their craft. You're not going to rejoin the Order? When the Temple went up, your forces rescued those few of us still alive. My life is a debt I intend to repay, however I can. Do you have any idea okay. what caused the explosion? No, I'm just a recruit. Belief and faith doesn't get you closer to the important meetings. Though that distance did save my life. I will talk to you later. Walk in the make. I have to use your back and in one piece. You said you thought Master Tajan was working on something special. If it helps, I found his notes. <laughs> the old codger was on the edge of a breakthrough here. He couldn't see it. You want some of these mixed up? Farewell. Let me know if you need anything. Let us keep in. Does it trouble you? Not anymore. It stopped spreading, and it doesn't hurt. We take our victories where we can. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed. Provided the mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. <laughs> what harm could there be in powering up something we barely understand? Hold on to that sense of humor. May I present Commander Cullen? Leader of the Inquisition's forces. Such as they are. We lost many soldiers in the valley, and I fear many more before this is through. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. I've heard much. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. And of course, you know Sister Leliana. My position here involves a degree of 
She is our spy master. Yes, tactfully put, Cassandra. Pleased to meet you all. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. They still think I'm guilty. That is not the entirety of it any longer. Some are calling you the herald of the and that frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the Majors or Templars for help is currently out of the question. Just how am I the Herald of Andraste? People saw what you did at the Temple, how you stopped the breach from growing. They have also heard about the woman seen in the Rift when we first found you. They believe that was Andraste. Even if we tried to stop that view from spreading? Which we have not. The point is, everyone is talking about you. It's quite the title, isn't it? How do you feel about that? I don't mind it at all. People are desperate for a sign of hope. For some, you're that sign. And to others, a symbol of everything that has gone wrong. Will the Chantry attack us? With what? They have only words at their disposal. And yet, they may bury us with them. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. I'll see what she has to say. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. Okay, let's go to... the world. We're in a secret. of Andraste. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. We know what you did at the breach. It's an honor to meet you, my lady. Inquisition Scout Harding, at your service. I, all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. Of 
Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's High Town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and I... No, then never mind. Ugh. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should get to business. The situation's pretty dire. We came to secure horses from Red Cliff's old horse master. I grew up here. And people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostbacks. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war's spread there too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. Interesting reading. Could be worth a look. Mother Giselle cannot be far. Inquisition forces. They're trying to protect the refugees. Looks like they could use a hand. Oh, we are not apostate. I do not think they care, Sika. We are not Templars. We mean you no harm. Doesn't look like they're listening. our way. Thank you. 
mages here who can heal your wounds. Lie still. Don't. Don't touch me, mother. Their magic is. Turn to noble purpose. Their magic is surely no more evil than your blade. What? Hush, dear boy. Allow them to ease your suffering. Mother Giselle. I am. And you must be the one they are calling the Herald of Andras. I told you asked me. I know of the Chantry's denouncement, and I am familiar with those behind it. I won't lie to you. Some of them are grandstanding, hoping to increase their chances of becoming the new divine. Some are simply terrified. Mm. So many good people, senselessly taken from us. What happened was horrible. Fear makes us desperate. But hopefully not beyond reason. Go to them. Convince the remaining clerics you are no demon to be feared. They have heard only frightful tales of you. Give them something else to believe. They want to execute me, and you think I should just walk up to them. You are no longer alone. They cannot imprison or attack you. They could try. Let me put it this way. You needn't convince them. You just need some of them to die. The power is a unified voice. Take that from them and you receive the time you need. It's good of you to do this. No. I honestly don't know if you can do it. to us, but I hope. Hope is what we need now. The people will listen to your rhyme. Did you get my text message? Yes, they will listen to no other. And I told you, good luck on your exam. Yes. Yeah, did you think you did well? That will deliver us. Mm. All this <coughs> Did you have trouble with the ruler? I will go to Haven. No. Close the door. Pompley! Pompley! It is not much, but I will do whatever I can. Okay, that's now done. Corporal Vale is coordinating the Inquisition's efforts in the area. We should speak with him. Mm.
mages and Templars and innocent people caught in the middle. Some things never change. Must be something. A Templar, I believe. What? Wait, what did I really... Oh yeah, I came in to build a campsite. you chuckles your boundless optimism it's comforting that whatever qualities i lack you'll invent for me varic no really why else would an elven apostate help crazy chance folk a hole in the sky when you put it like that i must concede your point According to my research, the ancient elves may have set up wards. If we can find the artifact they used, it may help strengthen this area against tears. Closing the rifts. 
But I have heard of elven artifacts that measure the veil. They may tell us where new rifts will appear. I was not expecting so many demons, however. I believe one of the artifacts is nearby. Can you help me reach it? Thank you. Let's go do it. Thank you for joining. I do not think I could have done this alone. How did you come to be here? I was, um, first of Clan Venen. I left in service of my clan and saw that great tear in the veil on my journey. I know more of magic and the veil than any Shemlin, so I hope to help. Maharal, darling. I. We should keep moving. Don't know what sort of person made her back. Sympathetic magic, a memory of flame that burns in this world where the veil is thin. <laughs> 